Men's Sabre semi-final number two underway. Two beats of the blade. The second one going to Bazadze. We get a video appeal straight away. and Bazadze storms out for the second attack. Biggest cheer of this fight as Fajani gets off the mark. Now it's Bazadze's turn to call for video. both down to just one video appeal. Fijani going for another video call here. Hit being given to Bazadze. And as the uh, referees uh, look at the video, there's a little conversation in there. And, uh, just caught a glimpse of the uh, replay. Not like Fajani might have a shout here. But Pecoraro sixth with his decision. That's Fajani out of video appeals already in the match. That's lovely. The first attack from Bazadze failed there, but he stayed in distance, kept pushing forwards, and was able to do a counter block. Right of way was with Fajani then. the block there for Jani but didn't hit the target. Uh, referee's given that attack for the right. Uh, Bazadze is now calling for his second video. Hey. 
Yeah, so both now without a video, so I suppose that levels uh, the playing field in terms of the fact they've used them both up in the first period, though, is perhaps a little unwise. There was a little movement there from Bazadze that uh, lured Fajani out, and Bazadze does get a card for an early start. Any movement off the line is a massive advantage if you go ahead of the referee's call to start. This has given Fajani something to bite into. So, Bazate feels that he had the attack. That's a good call from Razor, the referee from Iran, saying, next time they're so close, I'll go and have a quick look. If you're that worried, that concerned, I'll, I'll check for you. Doesn't have to do that, but he wants to just settle the fight down. So with the blade, Bazadze on a little bit more of a traditional attack. Gets to the break. Not happy with the decisions, but he has got the lead. Well, Faraz Fajani, she lives in New York, talking with his coach there. There is Christian Bauer again. Coach for uh, Sandro Bazadze from Tbilisi, but he lives in Orléans, in France. The great Italian fencer Aldo Montano is uh, Fajani's idol. Family of fencers, brother Mohamed Ayub Fajani, who represented Tunisia in foil at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro and also an accomplished international referee. Bazadze also has a brother, Becker, who competes internationally for Georgia at Sabre. Blade picked up by the Georgian. So Bazadze did pick up the right of way, but Fajani was ready for it. Saw this a little bit from him earlier on, Faris Fajani, the Tunisian stepping in, luring out the attack into preparation to find a parry or a post. This time it's straight into the guard of Bazadze and the right of way switches over to the Georgian. A little slip by Fajani. Bazadze, even though he's going super fast, was able to spot that and just halt his attack. Very noble. Long attack goes through. Bazadze's got the wind in his sails here. It's taken a little while to break Fajani. But as things stand, the momentum is very much with the big man. Now, referee promised he'd go and have a look at these tight ones. I 
I think if anything, this goes to the Tunisian. It's not quite a stop from Bozadze when you look at it on the replay. But the intent was there and Bozadze knew it and acknowledged it after the review. Well, Bazate felt that uh, Fajani went early there, and technically the referee could give another card here to Bazate for unnecessarily stopping the fight. In a leniency from Pekarara, the Iranian referee. Steps in, the Georgian from the left-hand side lures the attack. Finds para repost. This time he goes out on the attack. He knows he pulled his arm back. And that gifts the right of way to Fajani. Fajani back within two. He can get another one. This will put the nerves into the Georgian. Beautiful distance there from Fajani. The replay will show this. Steps in, lures the attack, and just leans back just enough to make it miss. <laughs> Faris Fajani on home soil has put himself right back in this match. Bozadze with the right of way. The line did not come out anywhere near early enough. The attack had already started from uh, Bozadze. He has got no videos left. He's calling for a, a video replay. He's insisting that he's got one video left, but he burnt them both in the first half. And uh, that is why using them up early is a risk. It might have been on the replay a little bit of a shout, but I still think that was Bazadze's. Does the attack go through? It's not 100%. To see if the first action lands here. Good call from Carrara again. He went to look at the video of his own volition because it wasn't entirely clear at full speed, and that is what the video is perhaps most useful for from a referee's point of view. Yes, it gives the athletes a couple of shots like it does in tennis and other sports. And the referee's not sure with a weapon that's so fast. Don't know how to look often is a good idea. Attack parry, riposte, good. Bazadze one away from the gold medal match. Johnny gets a yellow card to boot. Remonstrating just a little bit too much. Attack goes through from the right. Fajani has got to be careful about just coming straight off the line this time. Bozadze will be ready for him. 
Equally, he can't stop still and keep his eyes open. He's got to be aggressive. There's a Perry riposte on the back line. He's done that a couple of times today. And uh, look at the respect from Sandro Bazadze acknowledging the beauty of that hit. Look at the bravery on the line. Got to compose himself here, Faroz Vajani. He's very pleased with the hit. But he's got to get one more if he's going to make the gold medal match on home soil. What a beauty that is. That's Aaron Salagi like. Got to try and contain the emotion now. Bazadze, with the experience, might fancy him here, but 14 14, this is anybody's. Off the line, Fajani goes for it, and Fajani gets it coming from behind against the world number one. What a beautiful fight that was, worth watching again. Fajani makes it in to the gold medal match on home soil. A 15-14 victory over Sandro. with the last one to beat Sandro Bazzard.